Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was recently contacted by Madame Glam to sample a few of their products. So they're actually a cruelty-free makeup and cosmetic brand. They carry over 300 nail polishes as well as makeup items. So I picked out four products. Um, two eyeshadows, a blush, and a lipstick, which I will be incorporating into today's look. Um, so I decided to go with something a bit bolder from my usual makeup tutorials. So I went for a more cool toned look with blue eyeshadow and a very bright matte lipstick. So if you would like to see how I achieved this look, just keep watching. And stay tuned till the end as I also have a discount code for Madame Glam. So for today's look, I'll be starting off with the eyes. And to begin, I'll be using the Madame Glam eyeshadow in number 37 Oyster Pearl. And this is a really pretty champagne brown color, which I'll be using as a transition shade. And as you can see, I've already applied tape on the outer corner of my eyes. I'm just going to blend that a bit more with a fluffy brush. She speaks, it's a dangerous fantasy, sets me free, where I want to be. Moving on, I'll be using the Madame Glam Mineral Eyes Eye Shimmer in the color Bell Bottom Blue. And to apply, I'll be using a um, sponge applicator. And I'll be using a tissue paper just to catch any fallout. And I'm just going to go over with this eyeshadow brush to um, blend everything out a bit better. Now I'll just be going back with Oyster Pearl just to blend that blue a bit better. Next, I will be using the Makeup Forever graphic liner. Um, to create a slightly winged line. Before I move on to mascara. And I'm just gonna slightly blend so that the line created by the tape isn't as harsh. A necessary step for me before applying mascara is of course curling my lashes. The mascara I will be using today is the Juviance 3D Designer Mascara. For foundation, I will be using the Luxe Liquid Foundation in the shade Naturel. And to apply this foundation, I'll be using the Glow Minerals Luxe Foundation Brush. To 
conceal my under eye area. Today I will be using the Glow Minerals Liquid Bright Concealer and it's in the shade Brighton. <music> To lightly bronze my face, I will be using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 25i. And to apply it, I will be using the Makeup Forever Kabuki Brush. <laughs> I will be using this really nice pink blush from Madame Glam, conveniently named Touch of Pink. And these um, eyeshadows and blushes come with applicators. So this one comes with a small um, synthetic brush. So I'll be using that today to apply it. <laughs> As you can see, this blush is quite pigmented, so I'm just going to go in with a blush brush to blend it all seamlessly. And I almost forgot my eyebrows, but first I will be combing them with this little brush. To film my brows today, I will be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow and Eyeliner in the shade Taupe. And to finish off this look, I'll be using a Madame Glam Classic Matte Lipstick in the shade Koi. So this completes the look. I love the combination of the blue electric eyes with the really bright pink lipstick. This was my first time using Madame Glam makeup and I have to say I am really impressed. I was expecting a lot of fallout from the bell bottom blue eyeshadow. And considering this was my first time using a loose mineral eyeshadow, um, I thought this would be a bit of a disaster. But as you can see, I think I managed to pull this look off. So if you um, would like to purchase Madame Glam makeup products, they have provided me with a coupon code. So if you use the code NJ30 at checkout, you will get 30% off your order, which is awesome. Um, and this is not an affiliate link, so I'm not making any money off of it. It's just for you guys if you'd be interested in trying their products. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and would like to see more. You can see more in the pictures of this look on my blog, so I will have the link down below. And I'll have also more uh, links with more in-depth reviews that I previously uh, wrote about some of the products I use today. If you would like to stay in touch, you can also follow me on my various social media. Again, all links will be linked below. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!